this out. Most points in a debut by the number one pick of the draft since 2000. Uh, no surprise there. One, LeBron James, uh, also Zion Williamson, DeAndre Ayton, and Ben Simmons. So for Cade Cunningham, the expectation going into this year is what? <laughs> You're going to get a lot of opportunity, but I mean, you got to be in the top three to five. But man, oh man, this draft class is stacked. Right? I mean, Jalen Suggs is, even though their team is off to a slow start, he's solid. You look at Evan Mobley. Scotty Barnes is a stud. Chris Duarte, who's leading rookies in scoring. Oh, my the God. The fourth Yo, or I fifth name that. out of your mouth. Let's go here. <laughs> I knew you were going to say him. So give him his flowers. Okay, Duarte and Jalen Green. But the two guys, the three guys that I think are going to have the best opportunity are obviously Kate Cunningham, uh, Evan Mobley, Scotty, or not Scotty Barnes, but in, yeah, Kate Cunningham. Uh, I think those three guys are going to have the best Jalen Green. Sorry, correct me. I said Kate Cunningham. They're, they're, that's a long list. That's so, three people. Are you saying to be rookie of the year? No, no, no. I'm saying they're going to get the biggest opportunity to play because oh, the see. teams are built around them to be able to make mistakes where, you know, like Scotty Barnes is playing on a team that wants to make the playoffs. So he's getting a lot of in-game experience where they're like, hey, we need to win now. This is who you have to be to win, where other guys are getting the ball rolling out to him and saying, here, you tell us what you are, and we'll build around that. But he has, he reminds me a lot of Brandon Roy. You know, kind of that slow, quick game, not the fastest up and down, but like sneaky, bouncy, does the right things. Like even the pocket pass you saw right there, that's hard. That's a hard pass to do in tight quarters. But his skill set is there. Hopefully he stays healthy, and, uh, you know, he finds his way.